I'm Cyberx with outlandishly crafted. And today, I'm gonna tell you a story, a story of my greatest adventure in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Yes, yes, that's 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 what I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you a story. So, once upon a time, I, Cyberx, was out on the internet looking for servers to join with mine with a minecraft bedrock i'd played java um i'd started playing bedrock and i had tried some of the mods and they were okay but i was looking for an earth map and it was a myth it was a myth that Bedrock had Earth had Earth maps at all. So Java had some Earth maps, but they'd never been moved over to Bedrock where they could have natural generation. So the problem was you could like get an Earth map, but it wouldn't have any villages. It wouldn't have any materials. It wouldn't have any of that stuff because World Builder at that point wasn't able to convert it and put that stuff in. So, I was, I was just Googling around and found a list of servers. Just random website out there that said, here's a list of, here's a list of these servers. And one of them said that it was an earth map. And I, you know, I had already seen a lot of things that said, oh, hey, that's a earth map or uh, that's and it wasn't and it, you know it, it was a lot of people trolling and a lot of trash so i jumped in thinking this is most likely not an earth map um but i got in i jumped in i i show up somewhere um there's like some i think troll damage but it's like a locked area so they had put something down like a, a command block to like lock that area so that you couldn't do any damage anymore um so i quickly like started exploring around and because you couldn't like affect that area it, it was kind of hard to like get started because you would just die you would you would starve to death unless you really ran a good distance out of the out of there so i i cycled i died a few times i respawned a few times back to the beginning and i struggled to get like a good foothold because then you would go back to the protected area when you would spawn again and then you have to run all the way out of the protected area and by the time you run all out all the way out you'd be hungry again and so it's just this vicious loop so finally i get some basic life going right um i've got a hobbit hole i've got some supplies and i can get a boat you know i can finally like i can get i can get the basics of something going now remember every time that i give you from here on out is real world lifetime so I've probably been playing for a few hours at this point, and I'm really, I'm really curious, like what's going on here. I can tell that it's not normal. It's not normal map generation because you can get to the edge of places, and it just doesn't give you something else. It it does feel a little more natural, but that's all I can tell at this point. So. I world spawn somewhere around here. So I've run up here. I've hit these mountains. I've come down. I've hit the water. I've died a few times. Now I get a boat. And I start just following. Because I don't know where I'm at in the world. And the map at that point we were playing. I don't know. Maybe it was like a 1 by 1,000 or something. Um... It, the scale was really big so to the point where even if you got a paper map and you zoomed all the way out you still wouldn't even be able to tell like this you would like see 
like maybe this and of the whole world what does that you know equate to will you be anywhere is it over here is it over there so i start in my boat and i get going and then i sail in sail in and i fall off the edge of the world just edge of the map kaplong <laughs> i'm i'm in a boat full speed in the water not paying too much attention because i just go in there's nothing but water for you know the last few minutes and look up and edge of the map off the edge of the map lose all my stuff just in dismay i never i don't think i'd ever seen an edge of the map where it just was like nothing was there I had played Java maps where they like just wrapped around and they were just, you know, a globe. So it just connected and you just went to the other side or natural generation where it just goes forever. Uh, I'd never like just dropped into the void. So back to here. <laughs> now. That still didn't prove this was an Earth map. That just proved that this was a custom map. I'm going to take a drink of my tea. So I know that I'm on a custom map. Yay. But none of this landmass that I had been around yet meant anything to me, you know. So... I think, okay, huh, um, you know, now what? So I rebuild, get a boat, you know, die, die a whole bunch of times. We're now we're in like two or three days, real time days, real time, it's two or three days. We're in, uh, I get another boat and then I just start sailing down sailing down and then i hit this massive ice sheet and remember the map's flat so you hit the ice sheet and then it's just a solid ice sheet all the way across from one to the other well i don't know where this is i still don't believe this is an earth map at this point i think i'm being trolled still never seen one they were a myth so i'm out here i'm going across i'm going across the ice going across the ice and a creeper for some stupid reason because of halo i'm normally the driver and i love to run things over i love to splatter things and I'm in my bow. I've been dodging tons of bad guys. It's nighttime. I remember we're, I'm not playing creative. I mean, I'm playing survival. So I've got, I got to eat. I've been out in the ocean for most the real day, like hours and hours are going by. And it's now nighttime. I'm on the ice and I try to run over a creeper and it, it is in my boat and blows up in the boat with me it kills me <laughs> i mean all of my stuff is at the bottom of the world now somewhere in the middle of nowhere there's no way i'm gonna get back to it so we start over <laughs> so now I'm back to it so i start back over of course i die a few times and i i think every time that i started over i keep adding stuff to like my base down here that i've made so it does get a little easier every time because there's like some stuff left over like oh say there's some fish or hey next time i die and come back here i'll have some extra gear or whatever so i keep you know i keep trying to make it better so i now am like what the hell I think, and it's been a while, I think that I tried to go up this way and, like, I just literally got lost in, like, Russia or whatever is up here. Like, I just, and I am I died, you know, 
starved to death, couldn't find whatever, I don't know, and then back to here. And at this point, it's like, I think I'm probably a full weekend. I'm really, like, I'm enjoying it. I'm having a good time. The problem is, I still don't believe this is an Earth map. I'm frustrated because I can't f find a good way to set settle down. There are human buildings from other players all over the place as I've traveled. So as I travel places, you'll see massive castles, you see massive builds, you'll see all kinds of cool things that players had built. But still nothing that said this was Earth. So I do another go at it, and this time I end up back on the edge of the world and I think at this point I've just given up and so I thought man that was such a cool spot I'll just go live on the edge of the world and I'll build like a little place there and you know I'll have like a little spot and it'll be, it'll be really cool so I did so I go to the edge I you know have my boat I get right on the edge and there I found a spot where there's like s just some land right on like the rest oh it's all water but there's like I don't know maybe it's the Philippines or something that pops up and there's just enough land that I can um, build off of it and then like build a little base area so I build a hut and I have like a little nice thing and then I'm just chilling and I had pretty much just given up and was enjoying the sunset and here comes a mod pops in teleports into my hut <laughs> on, on the edge of the world uh, with me just chilling watching the sunset just not doing you know I give it up and the and I'm like, Chad, I'm like, oh, hey, you know, like, they're like, what the hell are you doing out here? <laughs> like, uh, I'm, um, that's just like, well, I, I am lost. <laughs> I can't, I wanted to get to Colorado, but I don't think, I don't believe this is an earth map. I think they're just trolling me. And he's like, no, no, this is an earth map. Um, and I think, uh, I think Colorado is, and he gives me some coordinates, right? And so I'm like, oh, wow, okay. Oh, yeah. And I'm like all excited again. And like, oh, yeah. Then, oh, I'm a week in, like a real time week. I've been playing this solid. Like, I, it's a huge map. It's massive. Um, and so I'm like, oh, awesome. Okay. And then he just like disappears. So I, now think that either this is really sorry I'm messing with my headset because it's being stupid right now either this is uh, uh i'm not i'm not i'm not convinced that this is an earth map i someone teleporting in and being like oh yeah this is totally an earth map when it was like a myth before and i never actually you know Seen. Oh man, what is going on with my headset? I've never actually seen one, right? I never, it, especially this size, and with the amount of stuff that had gone into this. Like, even now, it feels like this is like a dream, and I'm just telling you like some made up story. So, I am here somewhere. Philippines, I don't know. I'm way out here. I want to get to Colorado up there right but I'm over here somewhere so I think okay I will and he gave me cords right um so I start going I get past all this stuff and then I I can kind of get to here I think, well, I need to get way down somewhere. Like, I need to get to where I can, like, 
just start going across. But if I hit this, how, you know, how am I going to get around that to get over to here to, I mean, this is a lot of water and you could just get lost really quick. And so I start trying to go out. I tried to get all the way down here and then I spent like a day of real time going around this guy. So I'm like, okay, okay, is this really what it is? Is this really what it is? And at this point, like, I tried to do some mapping, like, I tried to get some paper, and I tried to map, but you'd have to zoom out a whole bunch, and then you'd have to put a few maps together just to get, like, a just a tip, to just to get an idea. So I started to get, visually in my head, started to get an idea that, okay, I'm here. Okay, so then I start... I, I'm watching the coordinates as I'm moving and I'm trying to go in a straight line. Straight line. And then I hit dunk. Ugh. I can't fathom that this amount of distance is not this amount of distance. So I start going up. Do, 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 and then I get to here, and I'm like, oh, what the hell? And I get to here, and I get to, and I get to here, and I get to here, and I'm like, what the hell? And now I'm like, this cannot be South America. Can't be, right? Now I'm feeling like, okay, this has to be an Earth map. But maybe, because I, you know, there's a lot of rumors that, well, you can't really do a full Earth map, but maybe you could just do, like, Africa and, you know, all of these areas. Like, we could just do this side of it and, and cut out the Americas. So I'm still thinking of getting trolled. So I go all the way through here. <clears throat> I can identify this stuff when I get to it by going around it because it just, it's pretty identifiable, right? And then somebody right at Spain at this this gap here had made some really sick stuff. And so you'd get to here, and then that was pretty noticeable. So now, now I'm thinking, okay, okay, this makes sense. Like, at least I know, I think that we're on the Earth map. And then, I, then I'm like, okay, all I got to do now is go from here straight across. Oh my goodness. No. So some like it there's just there's so many things going on so somehow I end up like down here. And I finally get okay okay I get out get to here and I still it's so big that even with Florida I still don't believe that this is the Americas because it's just it's insanely big. But now I'm like 12 days in 11 12 days real days and and i'm here I'm like oh my gosh if god and i'm getting excited like oh man if this really is an earth map like this thing is insane and so i i start getting tons of maps and i start putting the maps together and i start putting the maps together and finally i'm like okay yep yeah, this is florida okay i at least know where this is now there's no way I think that I can go from here across all of this on land and find this spot. The coordinates that he gave me are nowhere close to what this is. At some point I tried to go to the coordinates and I just fell off the map again and they were completely wrong. Like they weren't even close. So I made a really poor choice. I should have come down here and found this like closest area and gone up. But instead, I went this way. I go up all the way around, <clears throat> hit all the way around. All of this is ice. And I just keep following this land and the snow and I go all the way around Alaska, all the way up. And you can see, you can actually like tell what these are as you're coming around. So you get all the way around. I finally get to like Anchorage area and I'm like, oh, I was thinking Anchorage is here. 
But no, I mean, I, I was thinking I was here, but I was up here. So all the scale is insane. Like, it, it, I mean, this is just taking forever. So I finally get down here to Vancouver into this mess. Um, and I start trying to do some maps again. So you go all the way down, all the way down, all, and I finally get to here. Finally, finally, I have a chance. Finally have a chance. So we're like 14 days in now. And this is in survival. I'm having to eat. I'm having to stay alive. I'm having to put beds down. If I die, I have to go back to the nearest bed. I mean, this is this is full out just like greatest adventure of my life. Just trying to make this work just to get from point A to B. And it, I want to say, I think it's like the biggest thing that most people don't experience because they're playing um, dynamic generated maps. And there's never a reason to get from point A to point B and have to actually adventure across like the Lord of the Rings. The whole thing is having to adventure into Mordor. You never have that excitement and that adventure of going to this crazy place and then coming back other than like the end or the nether on the regular map which is really sad so then i'm here i follow this river up all the way and i, I make sure to stay in the riverbed because that's the colorado river so you go all the way i follow the river i follow the river i keep following it i follow it all the way up all the way up into colorado I find where my home is, and then I keep going, get over the divide. I find Denver, which is here, and then right here, right on the divide, I set up like a huge castle and started building like my base, and it, oh, it was so cool. It was really coming together, and then the PlayStation update happened, and that was it. The realm crashed. The realm was like... 40 gigs and it just wasn't we could just couldn't even get it get it back <clears throat> it just wasn't even it wasn't doable at that point sadly so yeah one of my greatest uh, by far my greatest experience playing and and what we did from there is like we hosted our own earth maps and we uh, people would join us while we were streaming and that's what we would do is we would have them spawn over here with an item and they'd have to get all the way to Colorado with that item for a price and just people trying to do that and at that point we had added like 50 mods in so the, you know what was in the water was quite frightening and it was very difficult to get you know from here all the way across the ocean without dying like you really had to do some slick stuff um my favorite was we had really huge elephants um is modded like we had like 50 mods so we had e all the animals you could think of so the had the ma or had the elephant in the back of the boat with you and then that way when the huge like whales and sharks and all of the things in the deep ocean would come and attack you they would like attack the elephant mostly because it was so big and protect you and the, the, you just had to keep moving fast enough and it, the elephant wouldn't make it in the long run he he would die and fell, fall out or something get knocked out but you just have to kept keep going until you you know, till you got over here, start over. And it, it was crazy. It was so much fun. I, I think everybody that plays servers or plays with a group of friends should download and load up one of these um, bedrock maps and just have a good time. I really love the 1 by 1,000. Um, you know, the any of these are fine. I, I think... I, I don't know that I would do the problem with some of them is by the time you get to 45, then mountains aren't really mountains They aren't You know, it's still really fun to do, but like you build a castle and it's like the entire state of Colorado or the, the entire like part of the U S or something. Um, so, but it, I would definitely, you know, try some of these like for sure. So 
uh, I'm CyberX the lavishly crafted, and this has just been me telling you about a story of my adventures in Minecraft playing on the Earth maps, and maybe you should uh, jump over and play on some Earth maps too. Hey, uh, don't forget to, you know, like, subscribe, ring that bell, and we have, uh, you can sub now or whatever it is, you know, all that stuff, you can, you can do that now, and I'm gonna try to have some member videos coming out more and more.